Hello friends, welcome to my channel Pencil Tip Studio. I'm back again with new exciting video tutorial, how to remove background in a professional way, using Affinity Photo. As you can see in this photo, removing background from this kind of photo is really complicated, especially when it's curly hair like this. But I will show you the best trick to remove the background from this kind of image and replace it with any background you want. But before we start, please press the red subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get next tutorial video notification. Let's get into the tutorial. To remove the background I need to select the character. I'm going to make a perfect selection using pen tool. Let me show you how to use pen tool to make a perfect selection. First select pen tool and try to find a perfect starting point. I'm going to start it from here. What you need to do is, just click and drag, so you can select exactly with the edge of this character as close as possible. You will have to be patient because, it will take huge time to make it perfect. I will do it fast forward, till I finish selecting with pen tool. Now, I'm done with selecting the character with pen tool. Now, make a duplicate copy of this image layer, by right click on the layer and choosing duplicate option, or you can simply press the shortcut key, Ctrl plus J. And, I will hide the main layer for now. Now select the curve layer, which is created by pen tool, and click on selection option, to convert this curve to selection and then click on this mask icon to create a mask, to mask out the character from the background. Now, I will press Ctrl plus D, to deselect the mask. Now, as you can see that the selection is perfect, but the edges of the character doesn't look natural, because it's too sharp. To make it look more natural, I will right click on this mask icon, and select refine mask option. In refine selection dialog box, I will adjust the border width. And border width adjustment depends on the image you are working on. Now. I will refine the edges of the hair, 
by painting over the edges, to make it look more natural. Now, it looks natural to me. And I can place any background to this image. Let's try to place a beautiful background now. I will copy this background, by pressing Ctrl plus C. And paste it here, by pressing Ctrl plus V. I will rotate the background image 90 degree clockwise. and I will place the background layer below the character layer and scale the background image to match the frame and we are done with replacing the background of this image I hope this tutorial will help you if it does please do subscribe to my channel like and share with others thank you